My fourth year students, uh, I have earlier sent you the uh, this uh, t-test and ANOVA in two lectures in uh, PowerPoint or uh, PDF format. This is an updated version of the t-test uh, lecture. Uh, with the uh, explanation. T-test uh, was developed by William Seeley Gossett. He was an English uh, statistician. Uh, he developed this test in 1908 and he published this uh, uh, test or uh, this article with the pseudonym of a, a student. Uh, so that's why it is also known as a student t test <coughs> when we compare two means for uh, quantitative data uh, the data may be uh, continuous also known as numerical data then we use t test or student t test <coughs> So the t-test actually see the difference between two means. That is, what is the difference between the sample mean and the population mean? That is, x bar and the mu. Uh, t is directly proportional to the difference in the means. <coughs> As the difference between two means is dependent upon the population standard error, more the standard error less would be the importance of the difference. So T is uh, inversely proportional to standard error of the mean. Uh, so uh, when we uh, combine these two uh, uh, equations, we get the formula of the T test that is T is equal to the difference between the two means by the standard error and we know that standard error is equal to standard deviation by square root of sample size. There are three types of uh, t-test that we will be discussing. Uh, one sample t-test, two samples t-test uh, and pair t-test. Uh, first one, the one sample t-test. It compares the sample mean and the population mean. Condition is that when the sample size is less than 30, then we use the uh, one sample t-test. Here is an example. Suppose a population, say the students of uh, NMC are having the mean HB level of uh, 12 grams. We take a sample from the NMC students. Uh, we take a sample of 49 people and uh, test their uh, HB level. We observe that the mean HB of our uh, this uh, 49 people sample is 11.2 grams with a standard deviation of 0.2. Now the question is, is the difference significant or otherwise for a 95% confidence interval and I have told you earlier uh, repeatedly that we take 95% confidence level. Now, formula for uh, uh, t-test we know is uh, x bar minus mu by standard deviation by sample size uh, uh, square root. We put the values and calculate. Minus 2.8 is the t-test value. This is known as uh, test statistics. Our test statistics are minus 2.8. Now, what does this uh, 2.8 uh, minus 2 .8 interprets or uh, uh, mean? The critical value of the t-test uh, for plus minus 2, that is, two standard errors, uh, two standard deviation, uh, sorry, two standard errors, this one. The sample, for the, for the sample size of 49, for a degree of freedom is 48, that is, n minus 1, 49 minus 1 is 48. We will see the table in the next slide this one for 0 0.05 uh, confidence and uh, 48 was the degree of freedom so 60 is the nearest one over here the critical value 
over here is 2. Now, 2 is the critical value while the test statistics are minus 2.8. How to explain? How to interpret? Uh, if this is the normal distribution curve, our test statistics falls. This is the critical area, which is 2. And our test statistics fall somewhere here, which is uh, minus 2.8, not here on this side on left side less than minus minus 2.8 is outside the uh, minus 2 this is the acceptance area null acceptance area while our test statistics falls outside the acceptance area are in the rejection area so the conclusion is the calculated value are the test statistics uh, of uh, minus 2.8 is away from the critical value of uh, plus minus 2, I mean the minus 2. We conclude that there is significant difference in the mean level of uh, our sample as compared to the mean of the population and the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and null is rejected. So the difference is statistically significant. Uh, one sample t-test another example. Suppose the mean serum level of a general population of uh, say Nushehra uh, is 140 milligram per deciliter we take a sample size of 9 and find that the mean of our sample is 150 the standard deviation of 6 now the question is whether this difference is significant or by chance we perform t-test formula for t-test we know putting the values calculating and the uh, t-statistics are Test uh, statistics are 5, uh, degree freedom is this uh, 9, this one, sample size minus 1 is 8. Now see the table in the next slide, this one, the red arrow. This uh, for degree freedom of uh, 8 and um, p value of uh, uh, 0.05, the uh, some critical value is 1.86 1.86 and the test statistic is 5 which is more than our value is more than this uh, uh, 5 is this one 5 is more than the uh, critical value coming to uh, this figure. Now, our test statistics are falling outside the, uh, say over here, this is the critical area. In this case, this is 1.86, 1.86, yes. While our uh, test statistics falls at 5 far beyond this uh, 1.86 on this right side one uh, the critical value is the, the test statistic is 5 uh, which is more than this uh, uh, 1.86 so we are in the rejection area For 0 0.05, one tail hypothesis and degree of freedom 8, the critical value is 1.86 uh, and the test statistic is uh, this one, uh, this 5. Uh, 
which is more than the critical value and so we can reject the null hypothesis. Over here, null hypothesis, let me explain. Null hypothesis say there is no difference between A and B. This one. A and B means the uh, X bar, that is the sample mean and the population mean. So null hypothesis say there is no difference between the sample uh, mean and the population mean, while alternate say the sample size the a a what is a a is x bar x bar is the sample mean is more than the population mean so we reject this null hypothesis another example of a one sample t-test say we conduct a study in the labor room of a, a nmc hospital because you say the uh, medical complex and found that the uh, mean birth weight of 25 newborn babies is 2 kg with standard deviation of 1.5. From literature we know that uh, mean of uh, in this population is the mean birth weight uh, in this population of uh, say Nushera is uh, 2.8. Now whether this difference uh, of a 0.8 kg is significant or by chance. Let's state the two hypotheses. Null hypothesis say the mean of the this uh, sample is equal to mean of the population. Alternate say no. This uh, 2 our uh, uh, x bar sample mean is less than the population mean. We apply t-test this is a formula putting the values degree of freedom is 24 25 is the sample size minus 1 is 24 and we calculate this comes out to be 2.66 now see the table um, for 0 0.05 confidence level and degree of freedom of 24 in the next slide sorry above slide the blue arrow this one now the degree of freedom is 24 and uh, confidence is 0 0.05 the critical value is 2.064 the critical value is 2.06 uh, 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 which is less than the test statistics the less test statistic is 2.66 in other words if we plot these values <coughs> and a normal curve uh, 2.66 falls in the rejection area that is above 2.06 for example in this case uh, here this is the critical value lies over here this is let's say the this is critical value which is 2.06 2.06 and our test statistics falls to 0.66 uh, a little away from this on the right side 2.66 and so our test statistics falls in the rejection area and so we can reject the null hypothesis uh, we reject the null hypothesis and say that the difference is significant <coughs> and the mean of our sample is less than the mean weight of the population and observed difference is not due to chance alone. Two sample t-test. Uh, over here we compare two samples means uh, and when the, the condition is when the sample size is less than 60. An example. We conduct a study in Jalala or Jalalpur to compare birth weights of babies born to pregnant smoker and uh, smoker ladies. A sample of 29 pregnant ladies was taken. Out of these 29, uh, non-smokers were that is N1 was 15 and smokers that is N2 was 14. Birth weight of mean birth weight of the babies of non-smokers mothers that is uh, this 15 group. this one of this group non-smoker is 
3.60 uh, kg with standard deviation of 0.3 kg and uh, x bar 2 that is mean birth weight of the babies born to the smoker mothers this group uh, of 14 the birth weight of smoker mother was 3.2 with standard deviation of 0.4 now to compare if there is any significant difference in the birth weight of uh, the two groups we apply two sample t test apparently we can say over here that this weight that is weight of the babies of the smoker mother is less than that of the non smoker mothers uh, now whether this difference is due to chance or uh, statistically significant the data given over here is uh, i am repeating that uh, we are we will be using the two sample t test now the data given over here is the uh, sample number 1 is 15 sample number 2 is 14 uh, first sample mean is 3.6 second sample mean is 3.2 standard deviation r2 standard deviation 1 is 0.3 and standard deviation 2 is 0.4 now two sample t test is used null hypothesis is a there is no difference that this uh, 3.2 and uh, 3.6 are the same there is no statistical difference null hypothesis say alternate say uh, which is actually our, our claim that the weight uh, of the babies in the smoker mothers is less than the weight of the babies in the non-smokers <coughs> formula for this two sample t test is almost the same with a little difference uh, in one sample t test we say that x bar minus mu by standard deviation by sample size over here we say that uh, x bar minus x bar 2 x bar uh, x bar 1 minus x bar 2 because these are the two samples now uh, two means of uh, two samples are uh, the two means by the standard deviation and uh, as we are using two samples and one and n2 we will uh, add them up under square root and as there are two standard deviations 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 the mean is 0 0.35 this is the shortest method and the longest method is given in your books you can uh, consult your books uh, putting the values in the formula in this formula and calculating the test statistic is 3.06 degree of freedom is uh, n1 uh, n1 plus uh, n2 yes n1 uh, sorry this is clerical mistake minus this is not minus for this one these are plus actually uh, let me change Now the 15 plus uh, 14 is equal to 29 minus 2 is 27. Now 27 is the twenty seven is the degree of freedom for point zero five confidence and degree of freedom twenty seven the confidence uh, uh, the, the uh, critical value is 2.05 in the next slide this one this is the degree of freedom 27 and this is the uh, laser pointer 27 is the degree of freedom and 0 0.05 is the uh, confidence and the critical value is 2.052 now critical value is 2.052 and test statistics is this one which is far away from the critical value for example uh, plotting in this uh, curve if this uh, 
2.05 मैं पहले बता चुका हूँ कि मेरी राइटिंग के साथ आपने गुजारा करना है दिस इज 2.05 पॉइंट जीरो फाइव क्रिटिकल वैल्यू एंड टेस्टिक्स फॉल बियॉन्ड दिस टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव से ओवर हेयर दिस थ्री सो वी आर आउटसाइड दिस एक्सेप्टेंस एरिया आर वी आर इन दी दिस इज नोन एज रिजेक्शन एरिया सो वी आर इन द रिजेक्शन एरिया टी इज टी मीन्स द टेस्टिक इज मोर देन द क्रिटिकल वैल्यू नल इज रिजेक्टेड द बर्थ वेट ऑफ बेबीज ऑफ स्मोकर मदर इज सिग्निफिकेंटली लेस देन देट ऑफ द नॉ स्मोकर मदर्स एंड इज नॉट ड्यू टू चांसेलॉन 